Hey guys, this is the Motorola Zoom 32GB version, uh, Wi-Fi only, and it's running Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3, 4.0.3, Ice Cream Sandwich, yes. Um, uh, if you watch the other video, I was just doing my little brief, you know, overview of the uh, honeycomb version on the zoom and uh, you know I just updated it now as you can already see the little touch buttons here are different they changed them a bit you know uh, it's not a big difference it's just a little change um Right off the bat, you can't really see anything different. The only noticeable thing you see is from not only the lock screen here where you can see the little pulse thingy of, yeah, that thing of the lock screen. And you have the um, direct quick launch app to the camera. Jump out of there for quick. And you have your lock your lock one so I'll just unlock it as you can see everything else is pretty much the same you know only thing change really was these buttons here and the app draw I mean well in here the way the time is set up I mean it's 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 kind of like it, it's a change but it's nothing you know humongous visually I believe you know I mean it still feels the same you know it moves a bit faster as you can see swiping is way quicker if you're watching the other video I you could have seen the lag when I was switching through home screens and it's pretty fast there is no lag yet and these pictures finally loaded up at the bottom right here so that's a plus you know these Video things are moving. Twitter feed is still active. Uh, you know, stuff here is uh, good to go. Let's just take a peek in the settings. Here, you know, it's just the icons or the little symbols that changed a bit. You know, uh, let's jump in settings. Settings is, you know, a bit different too nothing drastic you know it just feels I don't know I'm just saying it's just gonna feel a bit more organized you know it feels a bit organized but it's not drastically different from honeycomb but it's an update you know it brings its improvements and I'm glad I got it I'm not gonna complain so uh, let me just show you the version Android 4.0.3 model number to zoom you know and everything there is all good uh, display you know your wallpapers and all that and uh, of course the most noticeable thing that came from the update was the multitasking bar here now as you can see, I was fiddling around with certain things before I started the video. And, uh, there's a D feature. Everybody should know this by now. Is the multitasking app killer app manager thingy. <laughs> I'm really losing it today. But, uh, yeah. Here, you can just swipe away what you don't want. You know, if I'm not using this app anymore, I just swipe it away, it closes it out, and it's no longer under my multitasking menu. So, easy, swipe, swipe, close all these unnecessary things. Now let's jump into the YouTube. Sorry, the video was uh, a little down right there. I mean, the camera was down right there, you guys can see. But, uh, as far as the YouTube app, uh, the only really thing that changed is a little header right here. You know that changed. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. You know, with the uh, little 
slide to the left and right to watch videos and a little animation when you reach the edge of something. Booyah, that's that. Let's close it out. I haven't tried the browser, so let me try that. Oh, browser is kind of the same here. Uh, you know, you have your tab browsing, it's wonderful. Uh, let's just go to uh, what, what website? Uh, something, something. I'm not thinking of anything right now. Or let me just type in Best Buy. Yeah, let me do that. Mhm. Mm keyboard. You know, the keyboard looks the same, kinda. It feels good. It feels really good because I was so uncomfortable when I first started using. It, even though it looks exactly the same but I don't know maybe it's just me getting comfortable with the keyboard again I mean it feels good you have that nice little sound it comes with you know I don't know it feels different what the hell it feels good it feels good uh, let's just load up Best Buy's website real quick don't want to bore you guys Alright, well, gave me what the mobile website. We'll just deal with that. So, uh, oof. um, you know, the, the web browsers, the same is very snappy. Uh, let's just go on a different website. Uh, phone arena. Load that up. And, uh, here we are. Back to phone ring again. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, pinch of zoom. Still snappy. Everything snap, snap, snap. Everything snappy. Boom. So let's try out this multitasking button. Just jump right here. Back to the YouTube. Jump back there. Back to the web page. Exactly where I left off. Boom, boom. Wait a second. I don't want that anymore. Closed. Home button. I'm back home. Alright, so uh, that's neat. Uh, hold on a second. So that's neat. You know, as you can see, I changed my wallpaper just because. Size from sandwich. Just wanted to change it. And, uh, you know, it's really snappy. Like it. There was no lag so far that I've been using it before the video. And while I'm video taping it really fast thank you Google for making this way smoother uh, so I can say the major improvement is uh, you know makes it more smoother uh, manages multitasking very nice um, before I go I'm going to show you guys the camera before I leave there are some changes made in the camera all right uh just just gonna videotape something from here it's kind of awkward holding up a tablet to record something you know it's uh pretty nice same thing you just got those little um little menus here where you can uh you know the auto white balance the flash the exposure rate, sorry, auto white balance, screen mode, scene mode, my bad, and uh, camera settings. So they gave us the uh, paranormal mode where you can, uh, you know, you've seen it on the ads where you want to take a picture of a bridge. Obviously, if you don't have it, you have to, you know, take a picture from a very far distance to capture the whole bridge. You know, here you can just take a picture and then move the device along the scene and it captures it all. Put it in one picture and then, you know, you have that whole thing. And video, video capture, pretty much the same thing, you know, and they also gave us, they also gave us some, uh, oops, some uh, smiley faces stuff like that backgrounds things like that 
and everything else pretty much the same. You have your zoom in and out, uh, switch cameras. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, and that is it for the camera. And uh, in terms of everything else, it's really smooth. I like it. Thanks Google for the update, not leaving me behind. Um, that's the Motorola Zoom uh, running ice cream sandwich, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, just leave them in the description below. I will reply back to you. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter, at Richie013. And I will follow you back. I'll post anything new. I'll tell you guys if I have any videos up or if I found any new ROMs or anything or any neat tricks with the uh, Motorola Zoom or the HD2 or Android in general. I'll tell you guys and show you guys how to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.